bacterial growth curve reflects changes in events within the bacterial population when they are grown in a closed system. For example, when you inoculate this bacteria in a test tube or in a petri dish containing some nutrient medium, so we find these characteristic events. So a cycle of events happening within this bacterial population which we term it as bacterial growth cycle. So as you can observe in this graph, we have on the x-axis time plotted against y-axis containing the number of cells. So with increase in time, there are certain chain of events happening within the bacterial population. So A represents lag phase, LAG lag, whereas B represents a log phase, also called as exponential phase exponential right whereas C represents stationary phase stationary or plateau right whereas D represents decline or death phase so D represents decline phase right so these are some of the phases which we encounter in a bacterial growth curve when you observe bacteria in a closed system, right? So to briefly sum up the phases, different phases, in lag phase usually there is no growth observed. This is because when you inoculate bacteria in a new medium or new environment, the bacterial cells take up some time in order to adjust to the new environment and there is increased metabolic activity, right? So that they can prepare for division. So usually we don't find any growth in lag phase. And in log phase, there is exponential growth with time. And in stationary phase, there is a balance between the number of cells being formed and the number of cells that are dying. So there is, in fact, zero growth rate in stationary phase. And in decline phase, because of accumulation of waste products, that is metabolites, and also because of depletion of nutrients, there will be decline in the number of viable cells, right? So these are some of the phases which we come across in bacterial growth curve. And to discuss various important points pertaining to these phases, starting with lag phase, so let me just start from here. So as I discussed previously, in lag phase, the bacterial cells adjust to the new environment. Their metabolic activity increases tremendously and they achieve maximum cell size at the end of lag phase. So they achieve maximum cell size and there is increased metabolic activity, right? So the cells are getting prepared for division, right? So that these are some of the important changes which we observe in lag phase and always remember that there is no growth observed in lag phase. That's the reason why we call it as lag, lagging. And coming to log phase. So log phase also called as exponential phase. The reason why we call it as exponential phase is there is exponential growth in the number of cells. So we have something called as generation time. So a particular unit time where the number of bacterial cells double in number, we call that as generation time. So generation time is observed in exponential phase where in per one particular unit time there will be doubling in number of bacterial cells. So this generation time is usually 20 minutes for most of the bacteria. And to quote few examples, E. coli, generation time is approximately 20 minutes. Staph aureus, generation time is approximately 30 minutes. And it's longer in case of mycobacterial species. Right? So usually in mycobacterial species, generation time is much longer. Right? And also remember that various bactericidal drugs such as penicillin, they are more effective when the bacterial cells are in growth phase or when they are in log phase. So bactericidal drugs act when the cell cycle or when the bacterial growth curve is in this log phase or exponential phase. So we have something called as generation time and bactericidal drugs are effective in this phase. And also remember that cells stain uniformly 
in this phase right so these are some of the important findings in log phase or exponential phase right and coming to this stationary phase so in stationary phase you can observe a flatter plateau right so this flatter region is because of the balance between the number of cells that are being formed and the number of cells that are dying right so this is because of depletion in the nutrients available in that culture media and remember that the most important point here is there is zero growth rate so there is zero growth rate in stationary phase that means there is actually formation of cells but at the same time it's being balanced by cell death right so there is cell formation and also cell death so that's the reason why i said zero growth rate so growth rate will be zero it will be maintained or it will be sustained and cells usually they can't be stained uniformly right they can't be stained uniformly that's another observation and the most important point here is spore formation is evident in stationary phase we have several multiple choice questions from this area in various previous entrance exams also so spore formation is most commonly seen during stationary phase right so these are some of the important points pertaining to stationary phase and coming to decline phase also called as death phase so the reason why there is decline or death of cells is because Firstly, there is decrease in the number of nutrients that are available within that medium, right? And also, as the cells are incubated longer, so what happens is there will be accumulation of various metabolic products, waste products, right? So, accumulation of metabolic products. So, these are the reasons why there will be decline or death of various viable cells, viable bacterial cells. And to add another important point here, involution forms are usually seen in decline phase. Involution forms are nothing but unusual shapes or forms of various bacterial cells. They are found in case of this decline phase or death phase, right? So these are some of the important findings pertaining to various phases. To summarize, as you can see here, the bacterial growth curve, it's basically seen in a closed system we call it as a batch culture where the when the bacterial cells are inoculated in a confined environment such as a test tube containing a nutrient medium we observe these typical events within the bacterial population which include lag phase log phase stationary phase and decline phase and to briefly summarize the important points pertaining to these phases cells receive or cells obtain maximum size in case of lag phase in case of log phase, there is generation time, there is doubling of the number of cells. So in a particular unit of time, which is called as generation time, we discuss generation time of various bacteria. And also bacterial cell drugs usually act in this phase. And coming to stationary phase, this is very important. There is zero growth rate, right? And also spore formation is most commonly seen in stationary phase and coming to this decline phase involution forms are commonly seen and also this decline phase is because of increase in the metabolic byproducts which are being formed accumulation of toxic products and also decline in the nutrients available in that particular medium right so these are some of the important points pertaining to bacterial growth curve